Introduction You are walking on a road. The vehicles on the road are passing by. They release smoke while passing. You suddenly feel it is difficult to breathe. Why it is so? Let's know the reason behind this. Objectives At the end of this lesson, you will be able to explain the atmosphere, demonstrate presence of air in water and soil, describe air pollution, its reason and effects. Our earth is surrounded with the blanket of several gases called atmosphere. This atmosphere contains mainly nitrogen, oxygen, hydrogen and carbon dioxide along with some other gases. The atmosphere protects us from some harmful rays that can come from sun. Atmosphere plays a very important role in regulating the temperature of earth in order to sustain life on it. We know that all plants and animals need air to breathe. The animals living on the land part breathe in the oxygen present in the air. We can't live in water. When the divers go inside water, they carry oxygen cylinder with them. See this whale. How does it breathe? Similarly, how do the aquatic plants get carbon dioxide and oxygen in water? You'll be surprised to know that they breathe air only. Don't believe? Come, let us do an activity. Take some water in a beaker. Heat it to boil. Can you see the bubbles coming out? Where are these bubbles coming from? These are coming from water only. Air remains dissolved in water at normal temperature, so we can't see it. When water is heated, the dissolved air comes out as bubbles. The animals and plants in water use the dissolved oxygen for respiration. How do the organisms living in soil get oxygen? To know this, take some soil in a bowl and pour some water on it. What do you see? You can see that air bubbles are coming out of soil. When water is added to the soil, it replaces the air present in the soil. The air in the soil comes out as bubbles. The organisms living in burrows and holes of the soil use this trapped air to breathe. During rainy season when water is filled in the burrows and holes, these animals have to come out for respiration. Several billions of humans, animals and other organisms are consuming huge amount of oxygen from atmosphere every day. So why the oxygen reserves in atmosphere does not finish up? Do you know how? The plants produce oxygen during photosynthesis. This oxygen is released in the atmosphere. Plants also consume oxygen for respiration, but they produce more of it than they consume. So the plants silently save us from dying without even being noticed. What if carbon dioxide is pumped more into atmosphere and it is beyond the capacity of plants to maintain the carbon dioxide oxygen balance? What if other harmful gases are released in the atmosphere? The answer is, it results in air pollution. Cars, scooters, air conditioners, refrigerators and many other things release harmful gases that pollute air. The enormous amount of carbon dioxide formed during burning of coal also pollutes air. The substances that cause air pollution are called pollutants. Mainly, air pollutants are the gases discharges from industry and motor vehicles. Air pollution also creates global problems such as ozone depletion by the gas 
like chlorofluorocarbon and global warming by carbon dioxide. Air pollution can be prevented by taking simple measures like using public transport rather than own vehicle, reducing the use of wood in daily life, planting more trees around us, sharing the items like air conditioner with others, preparing manure from the dried leaves and other biodegradable wastes rather than burning them, reducing the use of perfumes, deodorants, etc. Drag the correct option to complete the sentences. Now let's know about the water pollution. Like air, water also gets polluted. Look at this river. It is very dirty. It receives sewage from the homes and wastes from the factories. Some people also wash their clothes and throw waste in it. We should not drink this water as it contains germs and may result in diseases. What are its effects? Poisonous chemicals released from factories and industries enter the water bodies due to which marine life is getting affected. If we consume such fishes, we will also fall ill. Can we control water pollution? The answer is yes. To control water pollution, we should not dispose garbage and harmful chemicals directly into ponds, lakes and rivers. Summary Let us summarize what we have learned. The envelope of air surrounding the earth is called atmosphere. It is essential for life on earth. Animals and plants living in water uses dissolved air for respiration. Animals living in soil use the trapped air in it for respiration. Air pollution is the contamination of the atmosphere by harmful gases and particulates. Air pollution can be reduced by taking few simple measures.